Hey everybody, welcome back to another magic review for Hocus-Pocus.com. My name's David and this is Got Change from Jason Yu and Sans Minds Magic. All right, so what is Got Change? Got Change at its core is a bill to coin transposition. You can actually do this with one coin uh, they, and they say you can do it all the way up to four coins. So basically what you do is you come out with a dollar bill Okay, and you can hand it to your spectator. They can simply fold the dollar bill up into quarters. Get it, quarters. Uh, and then they hand it back to you. And then uh, just dropping that dollar bill down to the table, it literally transforms in midair from a single paper dollar bill into four shiny coins. And when you see it, it looks exactly like a camera trick. When you see it, you're thinking, that's camera trick, that's editing, that's, that's witchcraft, but it's not. And you can do this yourself. All right, let's say you order this, you order it yourself, you get it, it comes in the mail, what are you gonna get? Uh, you're gonna get a DVD. Sans Minds always gives you actual physical DVDs, which is awesome, which is nice. Uh, the DVD is about 40 minutes long, and then you're gonna get the materials that you need to create this effect. Yes, you will have to build this effect. Like other Sans Minds effects, this is a build your own DIY. Is it what I thought? You know what, I really didn't know what to think with this. I really didn't know what to think because like I said, watching it, it really looks like a camera trick. So a lot of your ideas about how this might be done almost get thrown out the window and you're like, I don't know because it just looks way too clean. So uh, when I saw how it was done, of course it does use familiar methods that you and I have seen before in other tricks, uh, but they're just packaged together really beautifully for this little miracle. All right, so if you get a chance to watch the trailer, they do talk about uh, just the angle sensitivity and just kind of knackiness of this effect, and I, I would repeat that. Uh, th this does have angle sensitive uh, corners and issues, and I would say it's probably best with a 180 degree viewing area. Herman from Sands Minds does uh, do the teaching on this, and he does talk about how you could do it surrounded, and he does talk about how you could do it in uh, in a performance venue that has more lighting or more lighting than you would like. However, they recommend that it has a 100 deg 180 degree viewing area that you uh, perform this in shadow or you f perform this in dimmer light. The dimmer light, the better. And um, you just pretend that this is a trick that involves IT. It doesn't involve IT, but pretend it does and use the same lighting that you, you, you would use for a trick that involved IT. And then as far as inspectability goes, after the trick is over with, I'm sure people, their hands will dart out towards the coins. They'll want to grab the money and then that's fine. Uh, but you will need to hide your wallet or put your wallet away because that will not be inspected. And if you couldn't tell from watching the, the trailer, that, that is his wallet that the coins, the dollar bills are bouncing off of. It's, it looks like a little black square, but it's actually your back pocket wallet. And that, of course, does not come with the trick. You don't get a Sans Minds wallet with this effect. Like I said earlier, the DVD is 40 minutes long and it's uh, well shot, well mic'd, everything looks good. Sans Minds always makes really good DVDs. Uh, like I said, uh, Herman teaches the effect. Um, please watch it all the way through to the end before you even start working on this. This is a labor intensive effect. And so before you even start, you should know all the mechanics for how the trick works, and you should know every single piece of time that needs to go into this. So I would recommend watching the entire 40 minutes from beginning to end before you even get out scissors or glue or paste or anything, okay? Before you start any work, watch this all the way to the end. It's gonna be as well made as you make it, okay? And so if you're like me, you're, you're, you don't get excited about DIY projects, it's gonna be as well made as you make it. So if you wanna, wanna make this as best as you can, I would recommend you watch it all the way through. Then after you have it built, of course, you're gonna wanna practice. Um, Herman recommends that you practice with one coin first until you get to be really good with just one coin and kind of move your way on up to four coins. He says in the video that four coins is ambitious, okay? It's an ambitious move, it's ballsy, it's, it's like I said earlier, it's a knacky trick. So practice with one until you get to be super, super good uh, and work your way up. Like go from a dollar to a silver dollar, okay? That might be a good idea. If you're thinking about walking around with it on your person, you know, table hopping or doing street magic, and then asking, well, you know, what's involved as far as on my person? Like, what do I carry with me? Like, how much, how much of my body space is it gonna take up? Obviously, in the video, you see that there's a wallet involved, dollar bill involved, and coins involved. All of those things have to be loaded 
around your person for this effect and you will need to get them all into a get ready before you start. So like any trick, you know, I think there's positives and negatives to this. I think positives are, I think once again, Sans Minds has built a very bold and very daring trick that when you perform it, it looks just like a camera trick. Um, negatives, again, I say this is not for the faint of heart. This is intermediate to advanced level magic. Uh, a seasoned performer who has uh, experience with audience control, who has uh, experience working in the right venue, who has experience building gimmicks. Uh, plus, I think you need to build in your own routine. You don't just walk up to a group of people and say, hey, watch this, and you drop a dollar and it turns into four quarters. Then it's just like, what? You need, you need a routine, okay? You need a trick. You're gonna need patter. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna need to frame this in a story, okay? And I don't know that Sans Minds really gives you that. They give you the effect. So you're gonna have to add presentation to this um, definitely. Right now it retails for about $35, okay? $35, like I said, 40 minutes of instruction and you get the materials to build your own effect. You're not gonna get a dollar bill, of course. You're not gonna get quarters and you're not gonna get a wallet. You're gonna have to provide all of that yourself. So just throwing that out there, uh, expense as far as what you're getting. Read as many reviews as you can. Ask some people's advice before you make your purchase to make sure this is the trick for you. As far as uh, which kind of magicians I think uh, would, be, would gravitate towards this the most, um, I think table magic and restaurant magic works great for this because of the fact that you are, you're, you need dim lighting and because the table is nice to catch the quarters. So definitely table hopping, restaurant magic, I think this works the best. All right, so that's everything I can say about Got Change from Jason Yu and Sans Minds Magic. Of course, I wanna thank Hocus Dash Pocus for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, please check out hocus-pocus.com. Thanks, bye.